This is going to be the first clip on the defensive side of the ball here. And first things first, we can see that Jordan needs to be goal side. I need my center backs goal side, and we can't have Weston covering no one in the back. Center backs, we have to be on someone. Weston's not even in the picture right now. Jordan's still on the wrong side of his man. The goal is the most important thing we need to cover. Weston's still not in the picture, and Jaden deep covering no one. We can be a little tighter. We don't have to respect these guys so much. When we don't have the ball, I need my center backs tighter and more central. Weston's not in the picture, and Jordan's too far outside on the right. In this clip, we're going to talk about Weston stepping and winning this ball. If anyone says anything to him, I promise you he controls this ball and we keep it. I'm tired of the kickball. I'm tired of us kicking balls for no reason and just giving it back to the other team. Then, again, communication. Jordan's obviously going to get to this ball, so he needs to be yelling at Jaden, telling him to get wide. But instead, they're both going to run to the ball like we've gone over a hundred times, and we're just going to end up kicking this ball out of bounds. And again, just giving the ball to the other team when we could be helping each other. Now, the ball goes out of bounds. Both my center backs, heads down, not paying attention to the game. When the ball goes out of bounds, it's time to lock in, get bitten ready. There we are, not paying attention. And see the game. Organize people. Tell people what to do. Right now, Peyton's in no man's land. Weston, you could be telling him right now, hey, get a little tighter on your guy. Make sure they don't get this ball switched on a throw-in. But instead, we're standing... Not ready to go. When the ball goes out of bounds, it's our opportunity to get organized, fellas. All right, this is our throw-in, and right now I'm, I'm not upset with how our center backs are looking. I think Jordan could be a little bit more deep and central just in case this ball we lose it, and what do you know, we lose it right here. Now, we have to stop ball watching. Right now our center backs cannot be staring at the ball. We have to know where our man's at because this ball gets put in a dangerous area and Jordan's lost his man. And we're lucky that Marcel's out there ready to go in, or maybe that's Connor, and shield the ball to the keeper. We cannot lose track of our guys. They're too dangerous. Do not stare at the ball. Constantly checking our shoulder for where our man's at. I made this little video to demonstrate exactly what I want us to do on throw-ins. We need to throw the ball into a center mid or a winger who immediately looks to switch the field to a center back. As soon as the center back gets it, we got to know that we're playing this ball wide. And then as soon as our outside back gets it, don't just play it down the line. Find the center mid. Our six needs to be running to the ball, and then we can find the outside mid there. This is what it needs to look like every time we do a throw in. All right, so here's an exact scenario of when this happens in a game. Perfect. We throw it to our outside mid. Eli switches the field. Phenomenal. The ball comes to Jordan. Weston, we have to start sliding when the switch starts. Keep moving to the side just in case we lose it. Now in this situation, Marcel is just running up the field instead of going to the open space. We need to get wide first, and when you get this ball, you could play it to Aaron. But instead, you run into the defender. We're not looking for the ball. We're not ready to trap, and we lose it. Jordan's got to get his eyes up and make sure we can't lose the ball in the back there. we got to get open for each other and work for each other. Luckily, we win it, and we get the ball up the field, but this is the stuff we have to work on. Okay, so here's another scenario of when our outside backs get the ball. When our outside backs get the ball, I need us to find our center mids. Center mids have to get the ball off the outside backs. And if we can go from one center mid to the other center mid, the switch is always going to be on, and the whole team slides and shifts, and this all has to be done with two touches. I want the ball to go from outside back to center mid to center mid to all the way to the other side to the outside mid slash outside back. All right, so here's your game time example. It's a throw in, we find Peyton. Jordan, when we're on offense, we need to make sure that we're sliding to get open. Just because we're center backs, guys, doesn't mean we can't get open. We keep it, we find the switch, Peyton gets the ball. As soon as Peyton gets this ball, look at all the space. I see standing from Jordan, Weston, Jaden. We gotta know that the switch is about to be on. As soon as our center mids get it, they need to be looking for the switch, so we should already be moving. Ball goes to Aaron. Jaden, we're a little late. We should already be yelling our heads off for this switch. This ball's got to be played in front of Jaden, and we're off. But because it's behind, it slows everything down. And in this moment, Weston needs to see that the switch has to happen, so we need to start sliding. Because if anything, we don't want to lose this ball in the center of the field. Now the ball's in the center of the field, 
and this ball's just going to get whacked because we don't want to lose it. But it all breaks down because as soon as the switch starts, I need my center backs and outside backs to start sliding. We have to get this switch going. Once you start the switch, continue the switch. Keep it going. But instead, we just kick it up the field and give it right back to the other team. That's not an option. And I think all this can be solved if we just decide to start talking to each other and making sure that everyone's doing the right thing. Because I know you guys know what to do. You just don't help each other out. All right, here's another example of what to do in possession as center backs. When the ball comes to the left side center back, we have to understand that just because the ball was on the right side doesn't mean we have to keep playing down it. Let's look to go the other way. Just like a center mid, we're always looking to go the other way. And it can be as simple as getting the ball, or if it came to you from the right, let's look to go left. Get the ball at your feet, look to the other side, and let's get out the other way. We can't panic in these situations. Okay, so in this game footage, I would argue that maybe we could control this ball and look to switch it, but maybe clearing it is the right decision here. But, but if we don't decide to clear it, can we maybe find a center mid or Eli right there? I understand you're under a lot of pressure here, but we got to get those eyes up earlier so we understand what we're going to do, not just kick it. But the bad thing happened, and let's react to it. Jaden, you see that Weston's going to get to this ball, so you need to get wide and help him. But instead, you get out of the play completely, and you're nowhere to help us. Now, if Weston gets his eyes up, there's acres of space on the outside, and a simple left-footed pass anywhere but where the defender is gets us the ball. But instead, our head's probably down, and we just kick the ball to no one. But I will give you credit here because you're still locked in, you stepped up, and you did a good job of delaying here. You got in front of the guy, you didn't dive in, and you just kept him in front, blocked the shot, and it's our ball again. We have to delay a center backs. There's no point of trying to win it 30 yards away from the box, especially when they're dangerous. And I'll leave you with these focuses, center backs, starting with the defensive focuses. One, do not ball watch. See ball, see man. Constantly knowing where your man is. The more you know where your guy is, the more you can cover him and make sure he doesn't score a goal. When you stare at the ball, bad things happen. Two, goal side of your man. Do not give them the head start to the goal. You should always just think, I need to be in between my man and the goal. And finally, three, the easiest thing to do in the world, talk to each other. I don't think I put enough exclamation points. Tell your teammates what to do, no exceptions, no excuses. The more you talk, the more confidence you will bring to your team. Do not let me not hear you during a game. Always talk to each other. Now let's talk about the offensive sides that a center back needs to look for. One, off of throw-ins, look to find the ball off our outside backs or midfielders and find our opposite side outside back. Every time a center player or outside player gets the ball, you should look to get involved. You shouldn't just be hanging out. And if you can get the ball, you know it. Switch the ball. Switch the field. Before you get the ball, have a look and see what's open. If you guys can get confident with your feet and get the ball and switch it, good things will always happen. Now, don't get that confused with you have to find the outside back. Should you get the ball, you can switch the field by playing the other center back or even finding the center mid centrally. There's all different ways to switch the field, but just don't go down the same side every time and let's not play kickball. Two. Just because you're a center back doesn't mean you don't have to get open. If our center mids get the ball, move into open space so we can keep possession. You are not here to just defend. You are here to help on all facets of the game. So if we have the ball, I expect you moving and shifting and sliding to get in the best open spot possible. And number three, you guessed it. It has to do with that crazy thing called talking. For the love of everything in this world, Tell your center mids what to do before they get the ball. If the ball goes out of bounds, tell them who to cover. Tell the outside back to tuck. Tell people what to do. Man on. Look to switch it. Find blank's feet. Talking makes good things happen, and it brings confidence. Please talk to each other. And center backs, I want to leave you with this. I know it's a tough position, and I know when you guys mess up, it always looks like it's the worst thing possible, but... Understand that this video is just to get you better and everyone messes up. You guys are what we rely on to win games and I think you guys have done a phenomenal job so far. But until you can do stuff like this, we got to make sure that we're always trying to learn. Oh, How about that, Come huh? on!